Good day, everyone. Welcome back to the second episode of the uh, Kuntawi Harlad podcast. Today, I, I uh, I'm joined by my co-hosts Owen Thayer. Yep. Jamie. Hello. Uh, Luke. Hello. Corey. What's up? Of course. My name is uh my name is Reese, and today we are doing the second podcast. Yeah. So guys, we have a uh, we have a few topics that we want to talk about today. Indeed, we do. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna start with the first one. Um. So what 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 do you guys think happens after death? Void. Eternal void. Mm. I mean that that's like one theory though. Like that when you die, complete like pitch black. Since if you think about it, like you know. Like like yeah. Sleep, and then you like, yeah. And it's like you wake up next morning and you feel nothing. Because if you think about it, it's a bit sad like, to just believe that. I don't want to believe that. Yeah, yeah I don't want to think... believe it. It's like if you look at it's the same with God. It's like when you look at the science, there's no way that you can like, oh yeah, God yeah. is real. It's like maybe God is real, but you look at the science, it's like, no, no, it can't be real. Thing though, he can't be real. There's a yeah, belief. I, just, I feel like we don't have enough to just make absolute judgments on that. Yeah. Like we can't just say, oh yeah. There's, there's a belief though that God's beyond science, so science won't be able to prove yeah, that God like... is real because he's beyond it, you know? Maybe. And uh, But if you look at... ...new to see, nothing helping you to kind of uh, put things into perspective, so yeah, realistically it will just be a tunnel black. Well, Continuing from your point of... Um... He's beyond science. Like, you know when you play The Sims and you're just spawning in objects? That does not obey the laws of science. So, like, exactly. God's like that, isn't it? He's just above it. But, yeah, like, yeah. Like, that's what, like, like, but, you know, it isn't like that. We're not, you know, God isn't just going to spawn in objects. It's like that kind of thing that he just put everything on the earth in these seven days and just left it like that for the seven days. Yeah, but it yeah. doesn't have to be, even have to be the seven days, though, because... Like, exactly. so some Christians and believe that it was like a metaphor for just like a very very long time. Yeah, because you know, no one was there to prove that it was seven days. Yeah, seven days is a you know a short time to make the universe. Well, how would someone it's like an account for, from someone? The Bible is just many different accounts of people who knew Jesus. You know, like uh, Luke, Luke, and you know whatever all the <laughs> other people Joseph. And, you know. <laughs> so it's like you know. Right, but it's like as much as they can say Jesus real he was real right there are records of yeah. a carpenter called jesus back in the roman emperor times and the Wait, west it? of israel so israel well, yeah uh, yeah i think jesus is real it's just the fact that is he god's son yeah like it, he was real right like you can't disrespect jesus. he was tripping but yeah. i don't think he was god's son he was just a person he was just a carpenter <laughs> Yeah, but not not all Christians take the Bible literally. You know, some take it like more Me, metaphorically. Like the, yeah, like they like this is the teachings of God, but it's more than just a story to teach the ways of God. Yeah. The actual thing of fact. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I I to be honest, after death, I think like you know how people say. When you die, you see a light. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think there is, you know, you know, you do have reincarnation. I think, but it's like, you know, when you die, you see the light, and it's the light to, like, like as people say, it's like the light to a new hospital room, and then deja vu yeah. is just memories of your past life coming back to you, and then they just go just immediately and being reborn. Exactly. That kind of makes yeah. sense. Yeah. You go, you know, you go, and you're born. But I if that's that... someone else's stinky life. The thing is, though, that would say then <laughs> that if that's true, then realistically, the human population shouldn't go up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, maybe there's like new kind of. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. And it and it mm. should be, you know, just completely like as soon as one person dies, another person is born, and it's always like that, you know. Human population stays at say like set a seven to eight billion, you know, stays at eight billion, it's like forever, and then as soon as one person dies, another person is born. You know what I mean? Oh, it's like if you do go by that. Like new souls should be being made because of the Christian population. But I'm not saying new souls are made, I don't believe that stuff. But if something is being born more than something is being killed, mm. then this supposed God would have to be making more souls as he does. 
exactly. It's mm. just. What if it's like in a war zone, like, you know, you're in the gulag and then. <laughs> it is a legitimate theory. It could be real. That is possible. No, when you die, it could no, be a place where, you, where you die. It's just a, a purge where you, you fight for next life. You could be not like not like the gulag where you come back to life, like your actual life, but like where you another you know one. you just have a chance at another time. You have, well, you have another. Like they're like a hundred and nineteen year old man like dies, fights in the gulag, and just comes back. I know. It's like... <laughs> That's, That's not that possible. That reincarnation. Like, no, not reincarnation. Um, returning from a... Who is it? Reese, you're the doctor here. What's the one way... What's the death you can come back from? There's clinical Resurrection. death. No, there's clinical death, and then there's brain death, right? Brain death, yeah. You, brain you death. can come back from clinical death, because that's when you start. Your heart stops, right? Mm. Yeah, you can You, you can, can be yourself. That was, if, if there is this... Supposed, Necessarily, when your heart stops, you're not dead. Because yeah, it's yeah. Uh, uh, people's it's heart stop in surgery, but they're on a pumping machine that helps a blood pump around their body. I'm pretty sure you can like uh, survive for a few seconds without blood pumping around your body anyway. Because there's a, there's still oxygen in your organs, just there's no supply of it. So, but the, you know your your org there'll still be oxygen in your organs, and it'll make the most of like however many seconds they have left. Hmm. You know, you can't pronounce you can't pronounce someone dead until it's hmm. after I don't get that bit of the human body. Like, why is it like if you don't have energy, you need like thirty seconds, you just like explode? Because uh, everything requires energy in your body. If you don't have energy, then you know you just, your organs don't work. Yeah, you can't yeah. function. You need to function to live. You can't yeah, function with energy. <laughs> when you are, when you're in the room and like you know you, you know the eggs are literally it's. The the uh, the yolk of the egg, let's say, that is full of just energy, and then the albumum. I think that's like the white bit called, right? One hundred percent. It's just protein, because protein makes new cells, and it needs energy to make new cells. So the albumum, the uh, yolk provides that. For the I get my protein from whey protein powder. Yeah. <laughs> No, this great. is not an advertisement, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice in wheat though. Wait, what are you on about? Stop wait plugging for, it! Wait, wait for the protein us. powder. Sponsor us, please. <laughs> <laughs> Give me out. I want like, G Fuel to sponsor me. I want my own Life flavor. after death and stuff. Isn't <laughs> that. I'm not. With like life after death, it's so sort of. Tedious. There's so many different outcomes that people have thought of. It's like, and there's none of them are really proven. You know, you have heaven yeah. and hell, reincarnation, uh, just just void nothing. Once you die, you die. It's done. You know, there's, there's <laughs> nothing. There's nothing you can. Uh, there's nothing you can really do. There's nothing you can do after that. So, so that could. That could just like. Be it really, but going off of like uh, things we can't explain and stuff. Well, what's your guys' opinions on like uh, creepy pastas and even legends and shit? Mm. Um, it's a possibility they could be real. I think they're real. Looks like Bigfoot. Like... Some of them could be realistic. Exactly. Like one's yeah. human based. I mean, yeah, I think yeah. all creepy pastas and urban legends also because creepy pastas just someone like, fucking creepy pasta on their type away their keyboard about some person who stole their kidney one time. But like actual urban legends, Isla like, Shack. like, like sure. but like actual creepy pastas, no, urban legends like the crack and Bigfoot, Lock this Moth. I think they come from. Yeah, I reckon there's like. Yeah, I reckon there's creepy pastas in like America, like Mothman and shit, like. Mothman, maybe. Like, like first found by like the Native Americans. I reckon they 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 used to be true because. I there's a uh, you know yeah. back then America was like proper proper wild and just like. The Native Americans about the gaff. There's yeah, one. Could have been Mothman. There's one urban le legend. It's a Welsh one that might have turned out to be true. It's about um, it's the urban legend of um, oh, what's that? What's that wizard's name? Was, like, Merlin. 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 Yeah, Merlin's tree. <laughs> it was in like um, it was like in a bay, like a sit, uh, in the one of the towns by um. The bay or something. Hold on, I'll get, I'll, I'll get, I'll get the. Kamarthen. I don't think, I don't think it was Kamarthen. Hold on. 
Oh, Williams Oak is an oak tree that once stood on the corner of Oak Lane and Priory Street in Carmarthen, South Wales. Yeah, it was in Carmarthen then. Yeah, Merlin's Oak, right? Yeah. And uh, Merlin put, uh, Merlin was, you know, meant to put a spell on the oak, and he said if it, if it was ever like kind of, um, if it was ever removed, then the town would get flooded, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, and uh, the tree was uh, poisoned, but it still stood. Like uh, it was no no like leaves on it, I think. But the the actual like trunk of the tree and you know, oak was there. Yeah. And then like um, uh, I think I don't know exact. Um, in like the eighteen, I think it was in like the eighteen hundreds. Um, someone set fire to the tree. I'm pretty sure, and the tree was completely destroyed. And then later that year, Carmarthen had like one of the worst floods it had ever, it, it, it like ever had. So it was like you know, his spell, you know, his spell was. It like, worked. Yeah. <laughs> Once the tree was dead, the, the, literally the village got flooded. Damn. So like you know. Mm. That, you know, it's like it's like strange. That could just like, be a coincidence. Because yeah, it, it could be a coincidence. But does that mean that mag magic could be possibly real? Exactly. I've seen magicians that, like Dynamo. Yeah. They're madness. It proves that magic. it could prove that not only is magic real, but Merlin was a living wizard person. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And if magic is real, then why can't there be an afterlife? Exactly. Because magic defies science. Why can't there be a gulag? Um, there, is <laughs> like, gulag. there was, and there was lots of them. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> How many gulag? No, no, we don't need this piece. No. <laughs> there were 53 uh, gulag um... camp direct and 42, <laughs> 423 labor colonies in the Soviet Union. What do you guys think about the um the whole theory mm -hmm. that um Noah's Ark was real and that was what directly influenced evolution? Because it's like in, in like the story of Noah's Ark, they only took the balls um. Two of each animal. Two of each animal, right? I mean, it was yeah. just basically, it was like, we didn't take like West African lion, East um, East Asian tiger, they just like, tiger, lion. And people think, well, it's, it's a theory, right? That if that was to be true, that's how uh, evolution happened now, is that all these animals, they were displaced after the whole arc. Yeah. And, um, and that's how, like, you know, like, certain animals have different fur colors or. But it's like, you know, like you look at tigers, yeah. you look at tigers in the Jamaican jungle, I don't think they actually live there, but, you know, they, they, they're, um, sharp, but they're, um, they're like yellow smoking the ganja up there. <laughs> they're, they're yellow with black stripes, but then you look at ones in West Asia, and they have, you know, like, white fur. Yeah, yeah, they evolved for like tactical advantages yeah, of where they lived. Like, like, it's, like it's like why polar bears are foxes polar, and snow foxes like polar you know, bears have really big poles that though. they don't sink yeah. in the snow. It's like people think that happened because they were displaced after the arc. If it was happening. Did you know? Deep, deep, oh, what are they called? Tigers prey. They see orange as green, so that's why tigers are orange. Because like because they think they camouflage. Well, yeah, they are camouflage to what they want to eat. Surely evolution doesn't go off of someone's perspective, though. Yeah, so off like other things. It's... I don't think evolution goes off of someone's perspective. Like just because a tiger's colorblind, mm -hmm. then it has to be that color. I don't think no, that's. No, but it's, a, it's just random, isn't it? There's probably like lots of different color tigers. But then the only ones that survived were the ones that were colorblind to the. Well, no, the, uh, the, the orange. I guess the orange kind of camouflages into the kind of um, yeah, darkish yellow dead ferns and the red sand in the deserts and stuff. You know. Yeah, but it's in like West, like West Asian jungles as well, when it's just all green. Yeah, they're immigrated though, really. Because like, I've you seen a thing. Uh, that there's a tiger in Africa, and, but then also banana the exact bit. same tiger. I, because I think it's because I don't think uh, orange tigers are originally from you know they don't origin I'm pretty sure they they, they would have definitely been imported over there and it and it it takes m millions of years for evolution to take place you know you never know in the next maybe m million years um like you know we could see green tigers mm. No, I mean? we, uh, well, we wouldn't, but yeah. You know, yeah, but like Asia will. 
Oh wait, it, it is because of like branches and shit that they're orange, but it also like because of the um thingies, animals have like a lack of color perception. It allows them to camouflage better. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, but like going cool. back, going back to creepy pastas and stuff. Like you know, with um, what were, what were we talking about, Jimmy? The Russian sleep experiment was it? Yeah, yeah. the sleep experiment. Yeah, like uh, do you think there could be truth? Just some creepy pastas. Stuff like that is definitely happening with governments and things. Yeah, and like creepy pastas like Jeff the Killer, right? That's the, there's got mm. to be circumstances that led up to what happened to Jeff, like in real life. Like for example, what mm. happened to him? He just found some gasoline and fire burned his face, and he went insane. That that's got to have happened before, right? Fire's got to have some like damaged someone, and then yeah, they'd be angry. Fire is definitely probably damaged someone, and obviously that would make them maybe even self-conscious about themselves, and you know want want to hide their identity just like how kind of Jeff the Killer kind of hides in the dark, you know? Waits till midnight to come out. That could be where yeah. it comes from, staying out after midnight he kills you, because he doesn't want you to see him out at midnight. Yeah. I mean, it's like, going back to like, the whole truth behind urban legends, like, you never know if the, um, like, like, Russian sleep experiment, right? Something like that happened in the US, it was MK Ultra. Yeah. Like it had to happen at least in Nazi Germany or the Soviet Russia. Oh yeah, Nazi Germany, I don't desire. But it's like, it happened, or Soviet Russia. It happened with it the CIA. To. The MK yeah. Ultra was basically the American version of the Russian sleep experiment as told the story. Except this was true, and, I, and I've seen the documents, and it was weird, man. We're gonna die now. I mean, yeah, but, but uh, with like the, the full intent of the Russian sleep experiment and the creepypasta is to keep the soldiers awake, right? So they can fight on. Yeah, they can fight on. Like, people, like the Great, Great Britain and like loads of European uh, countries that have fought in the battles were giving their soldiers crack. Oh, you know, given, yeah, don't matter. We can still carry on about it, right? They've, 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 okay. They've, they've given their sol soldiers like crack, you know, to keep them awake. So obviously, there could be truth behind it that led, you know, that led to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I do. But like, with other than creepy pastas, like um, what's your what, what's like a creepy pasta that's like, you know, you you could not even maybe link to real life sort of things. Creepy pasta that like Man. really isn't realistic. Slender Man. Yeah. I mean. There his was backstory a... is so stupid. Some man stapled his face. He pulls the staples out, and his whole face rips out, and then he goes crazy. Wasn't and it? He teleport, and then you've got to find seven pages or eleven. I can't remember. But his pages were like... the files he dropped when his staples went in his face. Wasn't um? Or wasn't there was... like um a murder back in like the two thousands of two girls ki like trying to kill their best friend for Slender Man or something like that? And like they they didn't they they thought they killed her. <laughs> But they, you know, she she survived like the stabbing, and then mm. like managed to get out of the forest and like you know go to the road or something. Mm. And someone she won in the gulag. Yeah. <laughs> so What's smile dog? dog? <laughs> well, I've seen a smile dog is like can go and I can smile, uh, smile him. But like, is he real or like? I never really I knew much of us. I don't know. I've heard that name, but I don't know. It's I used to watch Dan TDM's mod reviews on them. Yeah, and Sky I, I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it was just a dog that smiled and killed people. It was like the Jeff the Killer dog. It's just yeah, a dog with a really creepy one. face and who go kill things. Yeah. The rake. He's like he runs. He like runs weirdly and he eats people. I think. No, the rake. Like he he causes people to like have seizures or something. They die of seizures, isn't it? I oh yeah, I wrote this... a thing like people had to like leave their country because the rake asked them to i'm not sure i remember the story was something like uh the, like a parents like a bunch of parents got asked to do something by it and they were just like basically told to fuck off and then in the night they saw it sitting on the end of the bed and it looked back at them and smiled and then it ran downstairs to their kid's bedroom and then when they went into their kid's bedroom they saw both kids seizure in and before one died died he said he said something like it was him and then just died I, I think that that was like the one of the stories behind it, which is like, uh, I don't know, it's a bit... There's a lot of believable ones though, which kind of worry me, like, you know Ben Drowned? It's just like the oh, cursed yeah. uh, Zelda, Zelda file? Yeah. That, that, that seems believable. I like a, like a, a cursed That could file. definitely happen. Like a file which someone... I don't, I don't think cursed, yeah, I but maybe cursed. like someone made it. Yeah, a corrupted like, corrupt file, yeah. like a, someone's given out a Or a lost one. 
yeah, I don't think it'd be um, like actual magic proof. It's just like, oh, mm. money, I'll make this. Someone will buy this on from GameStop for what, five, ten pounds. There we are. And it was yeah. terrible. Yeah. There was also one I hear, dude. It was like, uh. You were buying? It was like, no, don't go into the kitchen <laughs> or something. And it was like, uh. This little girl was upstairs and your mom asked her to come do down into, do you guys into the kitchen. Think, um, Yes. Yeah. Um, I did um. I thought he was like in Minecraft as a mob, but oh, when yeah, I played Minecraft, no, he wasn't. I think he was a real person. No, I didn't think he was a real person. I thought he was actually. But when I was like seven, I thought he was actually a bit of like rogue AI that was cursed in the game. Yeah. And, yeah. I didn't think he was rogue AI. I thought he was a mob that you could spawn using like those Hero Brian alt tutorials. The, 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 the shrines, yeah. Yeah. No, I used to think. I used to think that was the thing. I thought he was um like corrupted. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I thought it was Notch's brother. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was Notch's dead brother. Haunted yeah. the game. I, I didn't yeah, believe I, that. I, 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 I heard the thing was like Notch's, like, when I heard the Notch's dead brother, I was like, oh, it was his dead brother. He made a tribute to it in the game, and now it's corrupted. Like, I never thought it was actually like a real magic thing. Especially in Minecraft. No, no. Well, um, I'm like, uh, somebody brain like these things. They're never acting the good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I got a hero brain mod on Gary's mod. And it, it scared the shit out of me. Because it jump scared my whole screen and I couldn't turn off my computer. Yeah, I guess. Going, going <laughs> off of uh, dead though, like, um. Have you guys heard of, like, what the NHS are doing now? You know, like, how usually. Uh, how usually uh, they would try to. Like, uh, how usually, like, for the past couple of years, they've been, like, um. Extending people's lifespan. Yeah. Uh, instead of extending lifespan now, they're starting to ex extend something called like health span. So basically, it's like the the amount of time in your life where you're healthy. Because normally, yeah. like it's what like time, what, once you get past like say your fifties, you just go downhill and deteriorate and deteriorate. Yeah. Yeah, depending on what you do in your life, you yeah. know, if you exercise or not. But basically, like most, it's like it's like now you have like a like that normal sort of uh, lifespan is like eighty or eighty four, ninety or something like that, right? But like for half your life, you are not in good health. You know what I mean? So now, yeah. like they're trying to improve that and improving your health span will also like um, improve like improve you know, your like, lifespan. It'll improve your lifespan and, and like, improve the quality of your life. It'll make yeah, your life better for yourself. Be and then, and then the COVID came in. Yeah, exactly. Because um, a way to uh, kind of explain like a human life is, um, it's like no matter what you do, it's like uh, repairing a car, but the car just continuously breaks down, and as you repair it more and more, it uh, breaks down quicker and quicker. That's, That's what just like my of... dad's cars. Yeah, but like uh, you know, if you go slow with the car and don't really take it that much for a longer time, it's like uh, you know, this is like a metaphor for exercising. You know, it lasts longer. You know, you don't have to imp you don't have to keep repairing it if you just you know take it steady. So like um, but with like a health span, it's like you know, what they what they're trying to do. There's like a, there's like three different types of therapy, but I only kind of remember one. But um, like, it's like injecting stem cells, like a stem cell therapy, and like uh, when you get it injected into, you, obviously it will replenish any like dead. It was like it will replenish any like dead neurons in you or uh, sort of like uh, injured cells and replenish like um, cells that can't be made anymore. So what will happen is, you know, you'll become healthier the longer you live, and then you know that will improve like your um, what's it called? Improve your sort of um, lifespan. You know? So yeah. like you know, this could be available to us like um. Pardon? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fetuses can get you a large amount of stem cells. Um, but then it's the moral issue of killing babies. I mean, or no, you can use, like, a bone marrow it's for small amounts. It's, 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 yeah, they're it, being killed yeah. already. Exactly, uh, but there's still, like, a sort of moral battle going on about it. SJWs. Um, yeah, but... So basically, like, in our lifetime, you, these therapies could be open to us. 
you know, so we could live healthy till say 80 and live to our 120s. And that will be like a natural thing to see a human living like, you know, past 100 and, uh, you know, 120. Because like, um, with like, uh, like, speaking of like, uh, you know, medical stuff, there's like, um, genetic modification now, right? When they're like, uh, you know, you, I'm guessing everyone hears about that, like, sort of uh that thing that was allegedly cured cancer where they like genetically modified um a, a white blood cell yeah. so it could uh it oh, could but... pick out cancer cells yeah. and you know kill them because cancer cells are just mutated like bodily cells so white blood cells kind of just think they're bodily cells and don't want to kill them obviously but like they they kind of genetically modified it so and they yeah, they like Wait, they, put really? they put like a receptor on it or something that allows it to see sort of uh, cancer cells. But what, what, what do you guys think of this like whole health kind of thing? You know, do you think it's like possible uh, or something? I, don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe. It's like, in like the next 100 years, by 50, you know, by. I, I can definitely see us, you know, uh, health span therapy being available to yeah, our generation. This, this to us, yeah. Because yeah. they're already yeah. developing like the patches you can put onto your heart which keep your heart beating. <laughs> And that like extends your life, but and it might not be long, but it but does extend your life. Is life as well. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it still works. Lifespan. They're they're trying to like yeah they're trying to like I'm pretty sure the health NHS and like health care services and stuff are trying to like kind of lay off health lifespan now, because like your your health your health through your life is just gonna be like depressing. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, look at that. Because it's you know, you, no one wants to live unhealthily. Because that's, you know... Yeah, hmm. no, it's just like... So they're kind of going off of like, you know, what do people want? Obviously, they want to be they want to be healthy and stuff, you know? I mean? But I, do, do you know what I think? I think the royals have um, access to, like, lifespan therapy now. Yeah, like the queen. She's the the yeah, the, the queen and, like, Prince Charles. Because oh, the queen's... Like, a... 94, what, eh? 94, yeah, yeah. Like that. And look how healthy she is. She hasn't had a, she hasn't run into a single problem at 94. Really. The government, I bet, have a lot of futuristic shit above, like ahead of us that they keep right. into quiet. Wait, like, for example, dead? like think what's in Area 51. I know the meme's dead and everything, but the amount of stuff they would have there that we don't have yet, and that's going to come out in like, I don't know, like 20 years, and it's going to be like normal in 20 years. But right now, it's so ahead of its time that they have that, you know. They can have so much like hidden Trump technology. That stuff. Donald Trump. He met with the um, mm -hmm. Brazilian president in um, right before the coronavirus outbreak, right three days later, the coronavirus is on the news, you know, outbreak. Brazilian president diagnosed with it. Like, he had yeah. it for yeah. 14 yeah. days before he met Trump. Yeah. Did Trump have it? No. So I think they're holding something. I don't know, it could just be the fact that after he met him, he may have just washed his hands or something got off him, you know? Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. like it's like having an hour-long meeting with a president. Plus, he could just have natural Maybe immunity. Maybe he injected this infectant. He could just have... Yeah, he could... He, no, he could just have natural immunity mm -hmm. to it. There are definitely people in the world that have natural immunity to coronavirus. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah, more, more people have, like, survived it and died from that. It's like, uh, no, no, because they've caught it, so they don't have natural immunity, immunity to it. Natural immunity is when oh. you get, is when, you know, it's like yeah, so, so, so you'll get it, but you'll have it for like a day and won't how, get it at all. How can you get natural immunity though? Like, natural immunity just happens. It's just lucky. It's, it. it's luck. It's, it's, it's just like your uh, genes, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's your it's you like know, evolution. You like could it. have the right genes. Uh, it isn't evolution. Um, no, but like, it, it, yeah. It's uh, yeah, the evolution, uh, evolution can cause natural immunity, but you're gonna have to have stuff like vaccines. No, it's and stuff the, like a rare tree thing. It's like you know, like my mother has the immunity to coronavirus. I'm born, and then there is a chance she will pass down the immunity of coronavirus. Yeah, to me. there's a chance that you have it, but there's a you know your dad there's also a chance it. Yeah, yeah. So you may not have it. You know what I mean? Mm. Plus, some genes cannot just be like completely forgot about, not needed anymore. Depends so, you if know, your mother's genes are dominant or recessive. No. Yeah, you know, you 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 some maybe even when you're being made, uh, you know, your sort of uh, chromosomes may think, you know, we don't need this gene and just get rid of it. And now, you know, just like how certain things have been kind of got rid of as we've gone 
down. You know, like uh, we used to be like completely covered in hair as apes, and now and our genes kind of just were like, hey, we don't need to be covered in hair anymore. And Wait, but why do we have beards and that still then? Well, eyebrows are for you know sweat dripping into your eyes. Hair yeah. is just. I don't actually know what hair is for. Um, beards, you know. Uh, yeah, you I gotta mean, get them waves. Beards are probably just a uh, still a little mates. something. Loads of people, loads of people shave their beards off, so you never know. You know, you know. Maybe it's to like stop. Oh, actually, wait. We no, may not even mind. see beards. Beards could just be like a sort of um, uh, like a re. It could just be like a kind of pump down. Because obviously, we're not, we're not gonna get rid of um that kind of gene of growing loads of hair straight away because obviously we still have hair growing mm. on our body just not a lot of it like we used to but it could just be like the kind of you know it's kind of going you know we still have lots of hair on our legs and lots of hair on other places so obviously it isn't gonna go straight away it's just like going slowly and slowly i'm guessing yeah hmm. so the entire human race could look like owen smith oh, <laughs> they're completely bald Wait, yeah, didn't he shave, good. like, his eyebrow? Maybe, yeah. I have one question. How are we getting taller, like, constantly? Like, looking mm. back at, like, not even that far away, like, my grandparents, they're all, like, four foot tall. And, well, like, we're, shrink... like, six foot. Don't all the people like, shrink a bit? Or close to six foot. Uh, I, I don't know if people are getting taller or shorter. I mean, I know we've got taller since our ancestors and stuff. Because obviously we're not like four foot five and all midget things anymore. No. I think it could because um, we could be getting taller because of the fact that we're sitting up straight and standing up straight. You know, our spine is kind of always. Mine's not. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. yeah like, exactly. For yeah. people like Corey, they might be like. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm the tallest person in, in this podcast, but still, I spend most of my time slouching over a keyboard and a microphone. Yeah. Yeah, but did your mum and dad? No, see my what? Mum is what five I'm... foot four. But your dad, he played, you know, your dad played rugby and stuff, so he never really kind of yeah. sat down, slouched over, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a fair point, actually. Yeah, but for children in the future, you know, for people like Ori, do you think, like, his uh, children and their children and stuff will end up with more slouched backs? And do you think our children in the future there's will a, have slouches? There's, there's a whole theory on, um, like, uh, because you know how, like, attractive people only kind of go for attractive people and ugly yeah, people. Yeah, it's, it's not about, like, actual... There's a, there's, there's a sort of theory that there's going to be a separation of humans where you're going to have a sort of uglier kind of uh, smaller sort of like uh, imperfect human race and then a kind of uh, not an Aryan race but like a, like a sort of a natural perfect sort of type of human you know like how we had like um, homo sapiens and other like sort of yeah, things yeah. like um you know, and one was better than the other, obviously, and that's why we're here now. That's gonna mm. happen, and then, like, uh, there's, like, a whole sort of thing of those people being, like, uh, the ugly kind of race being, like, driven underground. I wouldn't, they'll yeah. become, like, the modern-day, like, dwarves, you know, because they'll be small, kind of... It's like you got the crusty crab, and then you got, um, the chum bucket. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, one's more superior to the other, and just because one looks more appealing, then the other, the Krusty Krab looks more appealing, more friendly at the front it's than like the other. You never know what, um, then more people will go to it. But yeah. it's like, you never know what the, uh, what the, the chum bucket food tastes like. It could have been very nice, no one's ever went there. chum is fish, back. isn't it? True, chum though. is ground up fish. Oh, chum, no. yeah. Ch- I mean, they use chum to, like, lure in sharks, and sharks are, like, you know. It's, it's, it's fish bait. It's bait. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's like, so it's like, like you know, isn't it? Yeah, it's like. They realistically, places like um, Larry Lobster and stuff should go and eat there because you know lobsters like chum. Yeah. You know, sharks I mean, like, um, you like chum. Speaking of SpongeBob, we guys yeah, yeah, have you guys. That, go um, on. All of them are um, they actually represent drugs. I, I, I've heard this one and it is mad. I feel I feel a bit about it. Mm. Like, all of them represent yeah, drugs, or, like they're all addicted to different drugs. Do you guys know the drugs they're on? Well, wait, wait so they like... they represent or are they on it? Well, it's a mix of both, really. A bit of both, yeah. right? Yeah, go on. Which ones are who's who's what? So it's like Patrick prefers weed because he's um, he's slow, he's dopey. He's like a chill guy. Dumb. Yeah, yeah he's a bit of a dumb. Yeah. He's chill. He's dumb. SpongeBob yeah. takes shrooms since he's always like you know. Yeah, hyperactive. You know, good like, imagination, yeah. joyful. And, and he he got, he has like two moods. He has. Like a joyful mood, 
and which is like a good trip, and then I'll, I'll like a depressed mood, like a like a. a no, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really get angry Squidward is supposedly meant to be um, someone suffering from heroin withdrawal because he's moody and, and doesn't perform well in his job and feels just a slouch around all day. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Plays clarinet though. It's just clarinet a metaphor for the heroin. For the heroin, <laughs> the heroin pipe. Um, and then yeah, Mr. he's Krabs only heroin with the clarinet. Mr. Krabs and Mr. Puffs. And Mr. Puffs. And Mr. Puffs. <laughs> Mrs. Puffs. Puff. Ill tempers. Um, and I had like we have very short tempers and they're always paranoid, they're always on edge. Could be the signs of cocaine from cocaine withdrawal. Most yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, Speaking, Speaking of the Krabs chum bucket, the do you guys know what Krabby Patties are made of? Yeah. Like there's this theory of uh, you know the actual mm-hmm. like um crusty crab itself. Yeah. It's the exact same design as a crab trap, right? Okay, where else? And that explains why there's no other fish. crabs in Bikini Bottom, right? So <laughs> Mr. Krabs has got to be a cannibal then, because Maybe. that's why everyone goes to it because crab is like a delicacy, really. Crab. I mean, it isn't much of a delicacy. I mean, yeah, you do, like you don't see people eating like stand fish and like, hot crust between like, crab and lobster. Like no, I see people eating caviar I don't know. and lobster. But it's like, it, it's like I always associate like crab and lobster with them. I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say crab is a delicacy. I, mean, I, just, I have crab. This kind of nice. I have crab in my freezer right now. I've never had. Never my mom, my mom, my mom. Seaweed's had. nice, but seaweed is. Uh, I'm not a big fish eater. Wait, Mister, you guys want Actually, I, I like. Cod. Cod's nice. Do you guys ever watch that episode I'm of uh, Spongebob where they like, where that mermaid bitch chucked like the seaweed over oh, the yeah. like lifts? Yeah. I remember those. And then, and then the they're men. <laughs> yeah, the movie. That, that was, was in the movie, yeah. yeah. The movie. And then the men song and stuff, Neil Dancing. That's a good song. Oh yeah, mm. at the end of the this song. The movie is so good, man. Going back to the drug thing though, I don't, I don't, I'm not 100% about that to be honest. Oh, I think Re- realistically, Mr. Crab I think it's believable. Mr. Krabs wants the money so we can get more coke to... Mm. Damn, bro. Well, maybe, it's quite maybe, maybe, Mrs. Withdrawal. Maybe, maybe Mrs. Puff... Oh, maybe Mrs. Puff's is like withdrawal and then Mr. Krabs is like addiction because he's like... I mean, that that me, Bob. I, mean, you're I need money to get coke. Will, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll sell stuff or do stuff like that. Yeah, and since in that one episode he does cry, he does cry over losing a dollar. Yeah, so it's and like, he and he goes on a floor like. And he's thing. always selling his other stuff because he needs to get that all his money for the end of the week to go buy you know, cocaine. Maybe it's, he's it's, in crippling debt for like buying coke off like some scary people, and now he's like really scared and really needs to pay it back, and that's why he needs the money. It's a bit um, what's it called? It's a bit unrealistic though, since he's able to run. Uh, a very successful restaurant business. Well, with, I mean, it's like, like the whole thing. He's a crab and water running the <laughs> restaurant. Yeah, l- exactly, loads of people yeah, take like, cocaine, yeah, but that's because, not successful. Yeah, I was about to say, but like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, what's that um, businessman that, you know, the Wolf of Wall Street was equal to George something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, he was Being like on like true. everything and he was still like one of the best businessmen in the world, even though he was like a fraud artist. I don't know. He was quite good at business, apparently, so... No? I know, um, supposedly Lionel Richie thinks so. That's the help with, um, stage fright. Uh, Lionel Richie, the guy who was like... Oh, Elton John! Uh, Elton uh, John was like a mad drug addict. He was like on all the pills, and he was still... Didn't um, the Beatles just take LSD? Yeah, it's well, it's well known, but the Beatles took LSD. Um, that's yeah. the only song's called, like, You've Seen the Sky at Night, which yeah. that's an album from LSD. Yeah. Yeah, and have you listened to the Walrus? The lyrics are so trippy. <laughs> I go high with a little help it's from my friends. Like, yeah, that, that's bang. literally a line from, from with a little help from my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Or was that referencing to when they all you know did that thing together? Tom can't even talked about it in an interview a few years ago. Yeah, didn't he? he did. He did. Yeah. He brought it up, so he admitted that they were all an LSD, but it was the '60s, so it's kind of expected. Well, yeah, everyone back then did it, didn't they? I mean, that was doing like the hippie. Yeah. Yeah, the 60s were. Wow. Yeah, it was like yeah. the like, 70s. Yeah, it was, uh, it was flower power, wasn't it? So yeah. it was like, yeah. to go with the acid, everyone like, was just kind of like. You know, they saw. Yeah. It's still green. There's literally a saying that if you, um, if you remember the 60s, you didn't live through it. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Because everyone right. was off their rockers. Everyone was <laughs> off their rockers, though. <laughs> have you uh, have you heard of the um, theory though that about because we talked about the drugs thing? There was like um, there was like a theory that all of the characters look Sam Deadly Sins or something. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't fully yeah, know so what like, the Seven Deadly well, Sins Patrick are. Patrick would be I, I could explain it. Um, Patrick spends most of his day, you know, being lazy and oh, stuff yeah, and sleeping. Sloth, isn't every, sloth. Yeah, he's sloth, right? Um, Mr. Krabs mm. is greedy, greed, uh, loves money, so he's greed, right? Yeah. Squidward, sense. Squidward's cranky and horrible and stuff, so he's wrath. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, Plankton, it, he he just wants the Krabby Patty recipe, right? That's so his he's... whole life goal, right? So he's envious because he's jealous of Mr. Krabs' success. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And gluttony is for Gary because of. I don't know. Yeah, what is gluttony? Yeah. Well, I thought it was like a mix between greed no, and. No, gluttony is sloth. Something. It's the same thing, so that would be uh, Patrick. Habit to all greed or excess in eating. Oh, okay. Just pride eat for one. Sandy? I mean, yeah, oh, pride in her machines and technology and stuff. That the little Bagari thing makes sense actually, because remember that one episode where SpongeBob just gave him like the entire mountain of food and just ate it all? And he got really fat. Yeah, and he got really fat. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I guess it does. Hmm. Sandy's pride makes sense because of the episode where the monkeys came to inspect it yeah. on her machine. And, she, and she's American. And, she's and like the American. haircuts. And no oh yeah, that makes sense. I'm American. And then American Spongebob is lust. Due to his like, he's way too friendly and stuff. Yeah. He's very... Yeah. Wanna, yeah. Lust, 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 lust there, there, I think lust is a bit out there, but yeah, it does. Yeah, lust is normally do more romantic than yeah. friendly, is... but I guess it doesn't make sense. Oh, it's just... That's... Sounds more it's because he's friendly to doesn't mean he's gonna get on everyone. I mean, that does sound more possible like an actual, an actual idea someone would base characters off. So you wouldn't be that. What should I make my character idea? Drugs. drugs. Hardcore drugs. Yeah. Seven deadly sins, that makes sense. It's like, it's a yeah. common thing. It's easy so to drugs. Like, you can make an easy green, a, gr it's a, a children character, you know, a, a lazy character, a fat character. If he did base it off that, it's good how he made it kind of a positive thing since the seven deadly sins are mostly stuff like greed and anger yeah and like you know just not thank god they didn't make spongebob just some really horny sponge because that wouldn't have been good for kids <laughs> mm. <laughs> that would be mad <laughs> he wakes up it's like it's ticking time <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> I remember once I tried to learn how to do the SpongeBob laugh. <laughs> I still know the technique for it. It's like you have to put the back of your hand. That's the technique. Throat. Yeah, you have to. You have to make this noise. You have to go like ah, like that, and then you have to, and then you have to put the back of your hand on your throat and no, like, Peter up Griffin. and down. Ah. Oh my. Ah. 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 Uh, if you watch no. the voice oh, actor, that. does it? That was me, that was me. Fuck. <laughs> 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 okay, we should stop this. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> right. Alright, All right, on to that final SpongeBob theory. Do you guys know about Bikini at all? No. Yes. Um, that is um, the Marshall Islands. Right, nuclear during the 50s, site. the US government conducted 23 nuclear tests there. And Bikini Bottom, like this, claims that it's located right underneath Bikini at all. So, if you're gonna tell from that, you need to sponge up and his friends are mutations, obviously. Dude, so you're telling of me basic items. That movie where they went to get the crown and they trolled up on the beach and David Hasselhoff was there is a real thing. That is real. <laughs> Patrick and Spongebob It's just the, the men in black did his death special thing on David Hasselhoff. You don't remember it. Oh. Either that or, you know, because Spongebob's based in the 50s. That could have been based in the 60s and David Hasselhoff is just tripping. <laughs> <laughs> was David Hasselhoff even alive in the 60s? I don't know. He's like, he's like 50. He, did, did he does he look like a testicle. Yeah, if he's 50, he wouldn't have been alive in the 60s. I don't know. David. Wait, that means he wasn't alive in the 50s. He, uh, he was he was He's lying about his age. He was, he was a teen. He was a teen. My granddad was a teen in the 60s. Yeah. yeah. Imagine living your teen years in the 60s. That's oh, mad. oh, damn. Mm. My gra yeah, my granddad did that. He was telling me all about it. No, but you wouldn't have internet in that, though. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't matter. But the fact that the only, the only reason we all think um, it's you know it's bad not to have Wi-Fi is because we have it all the time and we don't have it. Yeah. But yeah. It's like back then they didn't even know what the fuck a computer was. So it's like the normal was not to mm. have any of that, and and you found everything else fun. Yeah. It's true, yeah. Mm. You, you spend more time outside, which is probably why the younger generations are more like or healthy and more fit. Just doing lots of drugs instead of going. Actually, out. no, yeah, that probably. It's just... like you were outside and you weren't inside. It's like, well, At least they were outside. <laughs> yeah. Gotta get that vitamin D. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think vitamin D is a good note to wrap this yeah. one up. <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, all right, Matt. We'll uh, episode episode uh, episode three coming soon. Signing off. Reese Reese J Smith. Good night, boys. folks. Good night, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Goodbye.